Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create and we're working on Casa Granada. And this is page two, page two. Um, and I think, uh, I can't remember. Build one was the cover. Build two is page one. Build eight was page three, so this must be build four. Um, but check the um, check the cut list to be sure. So this is a very simple page, um, and as you recall, page one is kind of heavy um, with all those six by six panels. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. This is four and a half by nine, four and a half by nine. You're going to score three of the four sides to make this nice deep pocket. And we're going to use this to decorate the page three, and it is from the 8x8 collection. So let's go ahead and get this down. Uh, where is my tool? The last time I was using it, I mislaid it, and of course I found it, and it was in the trash can. I, I throw it away at least once a day, I swear. I can't find it, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the scissors to pick it up and dig through my trash in a few minutes, see if I can't find it. Actually, there we go. <clears throat> well, sorry for the noise in the background. My husband is piddling around in the garage, which is shares a wall with this room. Okay, so we're just going to put this flush on the bottom. And you may hear Nala chime in here shortly, even though I've taken her for a walk. She's being especially needy today. Okay, um, so I just basically cut this in half, so it's going to be this continuous pattern. Let's go ahead and get this down. And then I made some offline. I went ahead and made a couple of inserts, and I'll share those with you in just a moment. Again, this is from the 8x8 pack. So I didn't mention it earlier. I was really struggling... Um, designing this um, I can't I keep mismanaging my paper and I finally realized why um, I kind of have have the ability now because I've made so many of these to, to do some planning in my head as far as how much paper I'm going to have to work with for the album and you know what level of complexity I can add to the pages based on how much designer paper I have well, this collection in both the 8x8 and the 12x12 collection pack has an extra sheet that you can't use um, as a background um, or a flap. And that is, let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, I probably set it aside because I kept picking it up. It is the, the calendar sheet. So in each of the 8x8s and the 12x12, you have this sheet uh, that you cannot use um, in its entirety, or at least I, I'm not going to use it in its entirety. Um, you can only use it as a cut-apart. And normally you have your cut-apart page, which is the back side of the back, and then you have um, sort of your tags or your uh, ephemera cards cut apart. So in a 10-sheet pack, there's one and a half one whole page and a half a page that you can't really use for anything else, right? So basically, you have two sheets you can't use and now three. So that's why I kept messing up my planning is I, I was short that extra page that I, I hadn't really thought through. So I'm just letting you know that. So if you're doing your own design, you might want to consider that. I just pulled them out at the end and set them aside so I would quit counting on that extra sheet. <laughs> Anyways, blah, blah, blah. There we are. So it's a gorgeous day here. It rained really hard last night. And today the sky is so blue and the air is so crisp. And um, off, uh, we can see snow in the mountains. I panicked because I didn't check the front to make sure I was doing the right orientation. But I am. So we're all good. Uh, so it's a really pretty day. I just got back from my walk with Nola and it's very nice out. Crisp, clear. For some reason, I can't get into that pocket. There we go. Part of it's because page one is a little bit bowed from all the pieces that I put on it. So I'm having to go kind of at an angle to get into the pocket. There we go. We want to back up and get our mat. 
perfectly in place. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we've got this continuous pattern, which I think is pretty. And like I said, page one is, as you can see, pretty thick. So I wanted to keep page two pretty thin so that the weight on this page isn't just, you know, ridiculous. Okay, so offline, I made these two inserts. So both the top of this and the bottom of this came from the backgrounds pack. And that's gonna go right in here and it's meant to pick up this red and the red down here. So let me tell you what the measurements are. These are four by seven, four by seven. And this piece right here, I think is one and a quarter. Yeah, so the red piece is one and a quarter, and uh, as you can see, I did a little bit of color blocking. So that is the two inserts. I may put more in here after I've finished uh, the rest of the pages and, and figure out how much more paper I have. So that's it, it's pretty straightforward. At the moment, the back of these are black because again, I have to wait and see how much paper is left after I get through um, designing more of the album. So that's page two. I'll be back soon with page three.